Hmm. You don't really come off as a person who can hold out on their own. Forgive me, Highness. I suppose my words offended your delicate sensibilities. But you must admit, this is quite a new thing for me. It's not often a royal sneaks out of their own palace. I mean, if I were anyone else, I'd capture you and ransom you for the highest price. I said if I were any other person. I'm not, your highness. We both know that. Now, why did you come into my forest? Well, as much as I'd love to help in the petty political struggles of the crown, I'm quite busy. Being the wizard of the woods takes a lot of my time. Hunting for ingredients, helping the fey folk that live here, my schedule is quite packed. <laughs> oh, come now. You're begging me? This is low even for you. Just what is it that has you so upset, your highness? Didn't get that fancy new sword you wanted? Or maybe Daddy denied you a new palace? <laughs> we could trade barbs all day. Is that truly why you sought me out? Those days are long behind us. I made my choices. There is no point in regretting them. It will not change the past. Wait, what? Speak quickly. What of your sister? Do not test my patience, your highness. What happened to her? No. No, I hadn't heard that she'd been cursed. Tell me everything, quickly. You try my patience, your highness. If you've come to tell me on her behalf, then you must know how much I care for her. If you refuse to explain what is going on, I will not hesitate to strike you down, regardless of who you are. Yes, I've heard of that curse. How long has she been stoned? Three days. There is still time, yes, but only if I act quickly. Who cast the curse on her? Come again? A magic spell written on a letter, and when she read it... Hmm. There's only one wizard I know capable of such powerful magic. Damien. He lives in the desert, to the west of here. Always causes havoc simply because he can. No. You must return to your sister. For one thing, you'd only slow me down. For another, you need to comfort her. Even though she is stone, she can still see and hear you all. Tell her that the curse will be broken soon. Like I said, I can do this faster on my own, your highness. You would tell her that? Very well. Tell her that I... that I'm sorry for before. And that I will make it up to her. I thought it was obvious. I will go to Damien and force him to undo the spell. Chances are he did this to get my attention. We were rivals back in our academy days. Still holds a grudge. But I never thought he'd be stupid enough to go after a royal. What would you have me say? It's clear, you know. Your sister and I, we have a past. One that I thought long ended. I made my choice, she made hers. 
We parted ways, and I assumed that would be the end of it. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can never go back. I would be executed on sight. And do you think saving your sister would fix things? <laughs> You're more naive than I thought. I still stand by my actions back then. Your family has much to answer for. If it came down to it, I would kill your father without any hesitation. And yet, you still came to my door. I don't take you for a fool, though, your highness. You knew the risks, yet you came anyway. And I love her. I've never denied it. My feelings have never changed. But she can't be with me. Your sister is sensible. She knows why I had to leave. Though it's not like she can become engaged with a villain like me. <laughs> there is no need to continue to speak. I told you, I made my choice. I will kill your father and burn that palace to the ground one day. Regardless of what I feel for your sister, it doesn't excuse what your family did to mine. So be it. I'm not sure. By force, if necessary. I doubt Damien will see reason with mere words. So I will force him. She and I were careful. I'm not sure how he would have found out about our past, but... Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We need to move. Your sister is running out of time. Must you continue to prattle on incessantly? I already told you... I suppose that is a valid point. But I'm sure your family is with her. If I transport her here, surely that would cause more chaos in the palace walls. Fine. If you will speak on my behalf, we can try. Take my hand. Well... This is the reception I was expecting, your majesties. I suggest you speak, quickly, before they decide to do something foolish. It is as they say, your daughter is cursed and I hold the answer to the cure. I don't do it for you. Nothing has changed. I am doing it for her. You will entrust her to my care. I will bring her back. <sighs> Listen to your other child. I am starting to lose my patience. Good. Stand aside. Oh, beloved, do not fear. I will fix this. Let us go. As I said, she can hear and see everything around her. She is simply turned to stone. You will stay here with her. I will go and get Damien to undo the spell. I told you I do not require your... Fine. Do what you will. 
though I will not be held responsible should something go wrong. I assume you have supplies and your horse outside. You have a few minutes before I leave you behind. I suggest you go and get whatever you need. Go. Beloved, I never imagined we would meet like this. You needn't fear. I will undo this curse. You will be okay. I swear it. I have missed you much more than I ever thought I would. When you are free, ah. Uh, anyways, just hold on a little longer. You will be free soon. I swear it. <laughs>